Hi, this is Amar from SSLTrust.com Australia and in this video, I am going to be showing you how you can successfully install an SSL certificate on your website through the Fast Panel Hosting Control Panel. So, let's get started. So, this is the website that we are hosting on our server through Fast Panel and as you can see, it is not yet secure and we are going to make sure it is. So let's head over to the hosting control panel and log in with your credentials. As you can see, we have already created a website here. And the first step in this process is going to be generating a certificate sign in request or CSR. Now to do that, we are going to click on the site card and scroll down to SSL certificates under site managing. So just click on that. And then click on new certificate. And then navigate to certificate sign in request at the bottom. So basically a certificate sign in request or CSR is nothing but a request initiated by you, the client, to the certificate authority which contains all the necessary information such as the domain name and any business details which are stored in a hashed form. On the technical side it also contains the public key which will be signed by the certificate authority and returned to you in the issued certificate. So just make sure you fill this out real quick, type in your email Keyland, we're going to go with 2048, which is the industry standard. Country code, type in the two letter abbreviation for your country, such as AE for Australia. And common name, the alias should be set by default. Region, the state or province. City, the name of your organization. and the organization unit such as IT and then click on save so once you do that then click on the view button right here you should be able to see your newly generated certificate sign in request right here so the second step in this process is to purchase and configure an SSL certificate so for that we're going to head back to SSL Trust and as you can see, SSL Trust has established meaningful partnerships with all the leading SSL certificate authorities over the years. And if you scroll down, you'll see that we have SSL certificates for all kinds of customers, whether you're a small business and just want to secure a single website, whether you're a business school or organization and want to show higher security and authenticity and whether you're an organization wanting to show the green address bar in supported browsers to boost conversion rates and show more trust. Wildcard SSL certificates to secure unlimited subdomains and the multi-domain SSL certificate to secure up to 500 domains with a single multi-domain SSL certificate. So if you can choose an SSL certificate, then please contact our sales team at SSL Trust and they will be happy in helping you out. So for now, we are going to go with a standard SSL certificate since this is a demo video. Let's go with the Commodore Positive SSL. Choose the duration of the certificate and then click on Buy Now. Click on check out, fill in your details real quick, choose your preferred method of payment and then click on complete order. Once you do that, you can head back to the SSL Trust dashboard. After creating an account of course, and then click on your product or service. And now we can start certificate configuration or alternatively, you can provide the following URL to the appropriate person 
to do the configuration for you. So let's start. Now head back to fast panel. Now copy your certificate sign-in request and then paste it right here. Click on verify CSR. And as you can see, if your details look just good, then we're good to go. Otherwise, head back and generate a new CSR. For server type, you can choose either Apache or Nginx since Fast Panel has provisions for both. So just choose whatever you are going to use and then click on next step. Fill in your details real quick. And then your email address. Now, if you have a technical individual doing this for you, please mention the details here. Otherwise, click on next step. So this is the most important step of the process, which is domain control validation. So basically, you need to prove to the certificate authority, which in this case is Sectigo, that you own your domain name and have complete access to it. And you can do it when one of three methods, namely the email method, wherein you will have to have one of these five email addresses upon which you will be sent an email containing a link, which when you click on, should validate your domain name and complete this process. The second method is the HTTP file method. So in this method, you will need to create a text file on your server with this exact name. And in that text file, you will need to paste in these contents and then click on check file. And do mind that the this text file is located beneath two subdirectories. So just make sure that you create them if they're not already there. And then click on submit configuration. Now the third or the method that we are going to be using is the CNAME record validation method. In this method, you would need to access your DNS record settings with either your domain name provider or your hosting provider, depending on where you pointed your name service to. So what we're going to do is copy the CNAME record and then head over to our DNS settings and your record and paste it in the host box. Come back to the configuration window, copy the CNAME value, paste it in the points to box. The type is going to be CNAME and then click on save. So the CNAME record is now registered and then click on the check DNS record button to check the propagation of your DNS record and then click on search. This process takes from a few minutes up to an hour depending on your DNS server's propagation speed. So just keep coming back here and or refresh it every 20 seconds to check if your DNS record has propagated in enough places to be issued with our certificate. In the meanwhile, you can submit the configuration for now. And as you can see, our configuration was a success. This is our order number and our status is that we are awaiting validation. Click here to access the validation manager. So just come back here, choose your method of validation, and then click on submit or recheck to refresh things on Sectico's end. To access the domain validation manager, in case you are lost, head back to the Assistant Trust dashboard. Click on your SSL certificate, then click on the access validation manager button right here to access the validation manager. So we're going to wait a bit for our DNS records to propagate. Okay, so it looks like our DNS record has propagated in enough places and our certificate has been issued. So come back to the dashboard and select your SSL certificate and then click on this button right here to collect your SSL certificate. So now that we have our SSL certificate, 
it is now time to install this on our fast panel web server so let's go to fast panel let's close this up for now this is also done with and then come back to ssl certificates navigate to this option in the same way and then click on new certificate and go to the third option existing certificate select your generated certificate sign-in request now what we're going to do is copy the first main certificate to our clipboard come back here and paste it as it is do the same for the intermediate certificate copy and then paste it right here in the chain dialog box so now that we have both of our certificates we're going to click on save so now that we have installed our ssl certificates let's go check the installation https colon double slash your domain name dot com and as you can see our connection to this site is now secure and we have successfully installed an ssl certificate so I hope you were easily able to install an SSL certificate on your website in FastPanel. If you like this video, please give this video a like. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. And I do need to mention that there is a written guide available in the description of this video for the very same process. And you can refer to that for more clarity. And thanks for watching.